whole point of today is to be able to talk about limes and how it has affected you, what it feels like to have limes, and what kind of symptoms there are. So if you don't mind, tell everybody a little bit about your experience. What does it feel like to have Lyme's disease? It's mainly thought of as Borrelia bugdorfi, which is a bacteria that's Can a you say that one more time? Borrelia bugdorfi. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a bacteria that is spiral shaped like a corkscrew. And it literally can go and screw down deep into any soft tissue throughout your entire body. So your brain, your eyes, any joints, any muscles, your heart, your digestive tract, any part throughout your body that's soft, it will screw down inside of it. Just like I saw somebody on the internet the other day had a picture of a hand with a corkscrew with a drill. And they're like, imagine how this would feel. Mm -hmm. And they're like, that happened on a smaller scale, but throughout your entire body of literally having it screw down in there. But it, it's kind of a cocktail. That's the bacteria, that's the main bacteria. But it thrives with a conjunction of just this cocktail of bacterias and viruses and parasites that it thrives off and they thrive off it and they help each other. And when your immune system goes to fight Borrelia burgdorferi, it can literally go, oh, I'm getting tapped, and go over here to this parasite and steal part of its DNA and merge it with its DNA. So when your fighters come in, they're like, okay, there it is. Wait, where'd it go? Hold on, excuse me. When you say your fighters, what are you talking about? From your immune system. So when your immune system goes and starts trying to attack. What, what it just found, oh, there was this bacteria. I'm coming to fight it. It gets there and they're looking around the Borrelia burgdorferi. Hey, did you see this guy? He went that way. And then they're like, hey, you're not supposed to be here either. They start attacking him. That the sounds auto like cloak and dagger stuff. But that's how it gets into the autoimmune because it finally, say like I have autoimmune thyroid. Explain what autoimmune thyroid is. Um, that's when your body starts attacking its own self. Mm. And so your body, say my body kept coming, oh, looking at thyroid, where's the guy, where's the guy, where's the guy? Here's a new guy, here's the guy. There is something wrong with this place and I do not know what it is. We're just attacking this place to get rid of this. So literally right now your immune system is trying to find the Lyme's disease in your thyroid, but instead of finding it, it's like, hey, you know what, we're just going to do a full frontal assault and it's attacking yes. your thyroid gland itself. Because it's a 24 seven, your body is always making antibodies. And whenever you, say you get a cold, your body makes the antibodies it knows to make first. And so every time you have an immune stimulation, whether it's a cold, a vitamin C, echinacea, it triggers you to make more of what you've already made. So if I'm making thyroid antibodies, I'm gonna make more. Mm -hmm. And so to get sick, that's not just gonna be the regular cold. Now you got your cold symptoms on top of your body's being attacked at the same time. And what do you get bit by? It's usually a tick, but they have found it in mosquitoes and mites, chiggers, other things. But usually they think of it as the deer tick. That's the most common that okay. has it. What stage are you in right now? So you get bit by a tick or whatever. A certain percent of people get the bullseye rash is what people go, oh, you have Lyme's disease. And it's literally, you'll have your spot, it will get bigger and it'll start to clear out and they'll have a red spot and then a clear spot and a red spot. Okay, maybe you, you get sick afterwards, your typical got a flu, run a fever, achy, just don't feel good. Um, so that's your first, you get bit and you get sick. Mm -hmm. And then you move into, it goes intracellular. And from what I what understand- What does intracellular mean? It goes inside of your cells. Okay. It can hijack your red cells, your red blood cells and your white blood cells. It can hijack all kinds of things and if be inside. If it's inside a cell, that means your you, body doesn't do what it normally does, which is fight everything that's outside of the cells, right? It also means when you take an antibiotic, your antibiotics do not go inside your cells. Mm -hmm. So that makes it hard to kill. There's really, the antibiotics, they will make it go dormant, but then you stop it or you get stressed and it wakes up and it comes back. And so that's the next stage is, is intracellular. Then the third stage is where it goes autoimmune. Um, a lot of people have what they call neurological Lyme. I think it's like 20 to 30% of people, not everybody has it, but it has to do with where the Lyme disease bacteria is in your brain. And you actually will become autoimmune to your brain. Your, your attacking, body will start attacking, attacking your, your brain. brain. Wow. And your neurotransmitters. And I've had, I haven't had the test done to prove that I have those antibodies, but I've had uh, multiple doctors tell me that that's what it sounds like I'm at, is that I'm literally attacking my, my own brain. And there's one uh, doctor I went to, she's not a neurologist, but she did neurologic, neurological testing on me, uh, move this way, move that way, walk this way, touch here, do that, you know, 
kind of stuff. And um, anyway, this doctor, when she was doing the testing on me, she said I have severe brain inflammation.